Hello YouTube. I got another plane. <laughs> I got another one coming too this week and maybe another, maybe a third coming this week. But this one is amazing. Get a shot of that beauty right there. The L39. This is a Force RC product marketed by Horizon Hobby. And I got this from Hobby Town in it was $119.99, but I ain't paid sales tax. <laughs> and this is the unboxing, guys. It's gonna be awesome. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be a very exciting unboxing because there's not that much unboxing to do. So as you can see, it's packed. You'll notice that these separations keep the box from collapsing, but look how close the nose is to hitting. Show them this right there. Look how close that is. It's really close, guys. I read some reviews, so I'm a little bit nervous. And my friendly Hobby Town official decided he wanted to also open it and like look at it and stuff. And I was like, no, don't do that. Just give it to me. It's mine now. So anyway, I bit my tongue like a true professional. And uh, anyway, he didn't take it out. He just kind of like touched things. And I was like, okay, I'll, I'll take it from here. <laughs> Anyway, but you won't have that problem if you order it online, I promise. Um, the weird thing is, these things are taped on the top, but like, they, they aren't coming out. <laughs> so I'm not sure what, what I did wrong. <laughs> I'm pulling with all my might. It's like, they give you this plane, it gets halfway across the planet, and then you can't get it out. I think the objective is to get the plane out, but I don't know what the heck I'm doing wrong. Maybe you're supposed to pull these staples on the end. Yeah, I bet that's what it is. You're supposed to open the box up. So if you've unboxed this thing before, you probably already have a video on YouTube. So this will be number 14. Um, and by the way, this L39, I believe is the same L39 that Tower Hobbies has been marketing for a long time. But it's just in a different paint scheme, which I actually like a tiny bit better. But I don't know if it's exactly the same got the same size EDF. I believe it's 56 millimeter, which is kind of like, why not 64, like everything else? Um, well, I'll tell you why, because it's awesome. But also, because it's awesome, it runs on 4S 2200. So, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fold the sides down. Oh, look at that! It comes with the stand. This is still super awkward. Like, what the heck am I supposed to do with this? Am I supposed to just like build it like this? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know Definitely. if I'm supposed to break it apart. It's Can very you... strange. Huh? See, it's glue, yeah. guys. Like, what the heck? Sacrificial lamb. Well, I guess I'm probably not going to like this. I'll want to return it. Now I have to reassemble the box. There's some weird animals in our <laughs> house today. Okay, that's the cheap junky phone. But guys, oh, that's gorgeous. It's really nice looking. Whoa! What do we have here? Look at that. That is pretty. It's slick. I'm so excited to see this. Oh wow. You know what this thing doesn't have? Oop, 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 oop. Maybe it does have it. There's an access here to get to the EDF. Oh yeah, baby! Oh yeah, magnetically attached. This thing's supposed to go upwards of like 90 miles an hour. And so I'm hoping these magnets hold better than the magnets on my Cirrus SR22, which I trust that they truly will. They look like they're inset. It's a little bit smaller cover. And that thing was actually hard to get off. But that's awesome, guys. If you need to balance the EDF, you can get at it. Um, the only problem is when we glue in the vertical Thin, which I'm assuming we're going to have to glue that in. Uh, we'll want to be mindful of that. So, canopy. Oh, yeah. Two scale pilots. And you know what? They still sort of don't have noses, which is okay. It seems to be a common problem in the well, hobby world. They have masks on. They have masks on, but come look at the masks. The masks don't really have that much um, oh. nose shape. Which is, I mean, it's fine. This is totally fine. So, and then it's got a little balsa strut to hold the 
canopy magnet. And uh, let's pause it and we'll come right back. Okay. Okay, so coming back to this, we have a magnet in the front and a magnet in the back. Um, good overlap, good amount of overlap on the plastic. Um, you can see that they, they had a two-piece construction here and it's glued with some sort of a rubbery glue. So it seems like it'll be in decent shape after a couple of flights. But the thing I like about it is that it lips over the top. The thing I don't like about it is that this lip might catch air. That thing looks nice though. It really does. I can't tell how many fan blades there are. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, I can count to five. There's five. <laughs> Show the people. Show them the thrust yeah. tube. Look at the thrust tube, guys. That tube is very light. Oh my goodness. There's... What? Oh, there are five. My camera, my professional camera crew <laughs> is very upset about something. I can't tell what. Anyway, it looks awesome. So moving along to the next component. Um, We've got a wing here, and I'm going to use scissors because I don't want to damage this. Sometimes these things are taped so neatly, and sometimes they're just like not even taped. Like for instance, the fuselage, it wasn't taped at all. The wing, they were really concerned about though, so they taped it like three times. Four, four times. Okay, good enough. We'll put that over here. The wing looks nice. Uh, looks like a rather large control horn protection but that's good because when the throws I, my plan for this plane guys just so you know look at that that's nice not much differentiation on the bottom if you had a nice cloudy day you would not see this very good up against a white set of clouds i'm guessing now you'd see this side but you'd be flying up inverted at that point so i may have to put some black stripes or something on here or paint the wing or something like that because look you got a lot of color on the bottom, but you don't have much color on the wing. So sometimes that really makes it hard to tell what uh, roll axis you're at. And then also um, I noticed that they put the controls at the outermost setting. I'll probably be moving those in and then moving them beyond because I'll initially set this up for flap runs and then I'll probably add flaps if it flies half as good as I've seen guys fly these at. And I want to make this thing really slow down for good landings because I can protect it. Keep this long, slender nose from getting totally destroyed. Whoa. That's got a little wiggle going on. Mm -hmm. um, I had done some thinking about this too. Um, they have a Y cable in here. We'll obviously be separating the left and right channels. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It looks like we've got access to both of those, which is nice. Sometimes that gets buried in the middle of the wing. So if you're going to do a flap around, it's a pain in the butt. Anyway, so that's great. So far, so good. Really like it. It's looking nice. Let's take a look at the uh, horizontal stabilizer. And um, again, guys, if you've never seen an unboxing, it's where we open a box. <laughs> and then we take the items out of the plastic. I'm not going to do one of these unboxings where it's all unboxed. That's cheating. It's super exciting. Okay. There's one single piece of steel here. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. You really got to work that. Yeah, don't forget to work that, guys. That thing barely moved. Okay, so let's put this up against the light. I can't tell if there's a carbon fiber. Oh, probably not a carbon fiber. Don't think there's a carbon fiber <laughs> in there. Yeah, definitely not a carbon fiber in there. Could you see that in the video? I don't know. Let's you check for some carbon the fiber flex. in the wing. There is carbon fiber in the middle. Yeah. Just to give you guys an idea. The rod goes to about ye. Yeah. And then there's also magnets on the end of this. The magnets on the end are for the decorative tanks, wingtip tanks, which are uh, just recognizable on the L39. And will be fun to find when they fall off. They're going to be awesome to find when they fall off for my helpers. Sweet. Ooh, look at that. It would be kind of cool if there were missiles, um, but this plane would normally have that. Hmm. So the reason rationale behind that is that they'll pop off on uh, belly landing. And I got to be honest with you guys, I'm just thinking about this plane compared to the F-14, the Arctech F-14 that I have. 
and the Arctech F14 is really cool, but nothing held up on it, virtually nothing. I mean, it's like broken every time I fly it. And for whatever reason, the videos do really good because it is pretty awesome to watch fly. But then when you get close, it's very ugly. Um, nothing like the freezing that I'll eventually have someday. <laughs> My wife has anything to say, I won't. So we're gonna cut this open. This is the vertical stabilizer. And for those of you who haven't seen an unboxing, and uh, just wanted to explain to you, all seven of you out there that watch this, there is a fast forward button if you don't like watching the open, opening of plastic. Look at that. That is really nothing special. Let's see if there's carbon fiber in there. I'm pretty sure there's not. It doesn't feel like there's carbon fiber, but it's a little bit more robust. Yeah, there's no carbon fiber in there, guys. So if you're hoping for carbon fiber and that's your deal breaker, well, don't buy this thing. I can tell you one thing about this plane that I'm gonna be doing before I even do flaps is that I'm gonna be doing uh, rudder because I like me a rudder. Man, that looks really nice, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. I mean, it's not built totally. There's still a wing missing, but uh, I really like the way it looks. And it's a, it doesn't look cheap, mm -hmm. even though it was kind of cheap. It feels light, it's not a super heavy, but it's just simple. It's just simple and it's gonna do what it does and it's gonna do it very fast. And when it does it into the ground, it's gonna be destroyed. <laughs> But you know what? I'd rather destroy a $120 plane than destroy a $220 plane. True. And uh, guys, that is going to be pretty. In fact, look at the assembly. I'm halfway done and I even thought about it. So anyway, for now, I just wanted to show you. That's an unboxing, guys. When we're ready to build this thing, we'll do a, a build video shortly. And then we'll do a radio setup. We're going to use a Lemon RX 7 channel with stabilization. You're probably thinking to yourself, Brian, this is one channel for the throttle, one channel for the elevator, and one channel for the ailerons, right? So that's three channels. Well, yeah, I'm going to do four channels, which will be flaperons. Flaperon one, flaperon two, aileron one, two. Throttle, elevator, rudder, plus stabilization for three axes, which is part of the reason why I really want rudder. The other thing is rationale for a rudder is that when you use flaperons, you lose roll control. <clears throat> you lose or mitigate most of your roll control to some other surface. Um, hypothetically, you'll be coming in for a landing, but I like to tie in rudder mix when I'm doing that. Because I'll be weakening this vertical stabilizer, I may end up having to do a little bit of carbon fiber, metal, or something like that. And I honestly don't think I'm gonna need a big servo and I don't think I'm going to have a hard time getting the wires through because I already have some wires passing through. So we'll do a build video. <clears throat> we'll probably fly it stock first. Um, you want to see how a 2200 milliamp fits in here before we move on? I think sure. we should. Let's do it. Okay. Look at this ample battery bay. It comes with a, um, doesn't have an XT60 or an EC3, but it's got a Dean's connector. And you know me, I don't use Dean's connectors. I have Dean's connectors, I just don't use them. <laughs> Okay, so we have some sort of an extension cord here, it looks like. So, this battery, there is not much to this tray. Goodness gracious, guys. That's all of that, that's that thick. It's a quarter inch thick. Wow, I may have to put some balsa wood in there or something, something to hold the battery in there. Because I can imagine that uh, that is not gonna do well on belly landing. Mm -hmm. So, at any rate, it's beautiful. It's gonna come together in the build video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.